Welcome to the Commerce 7 training videos. In this video, we will review traditional clubs. More specifically, how to set up a traditional club, how to set up and manage a traditional club package, and we'll also review the customer experience by signing up for a club and adjusting a club shipment. Let's get started with setting up a club. If you're migrating from another system, sometimes your data migration partner will migrate your current clubs into Commerce 7. However, if you're starting from scratch or in introducing new clubs, this is how you will create a club in Commerce 7. Navigate to Club tab and then select Club. Then select Add Club at the top right. Give the club a title. This is customer facing. Next, select Traditional Club or Subscription. For this video, we're only focusing on traditional clubs. Next, add content. This is the information that will appear on your club sign-up page on your website. Include important information for the customer. For example, club member benefits like discounts or complimentary tastings, the frequency of the club shipments, or the product minimum, and any other details you want your club members to be aware of. Next, you can upload an image. And you can see at the top you have a web status and admin status. If you want customers to sign up for the club from your website, make sure the web status is set to available. If you only want admin to have the ability to sign up new club members, set the web status to not available and this club will not appear on your website. Scroll down and you will see a field for email instructions. This field is used to embed information in the club sign-up confirmation transaction email that automatically triggers when a customer signs up for any club. If you have more than one club offering, you can include specific details or instructions in this field and the content will be pulled into the club sign-up confirmation transaction email only when a customer signs up for this specific club. For more information, visit our Help Center and enter the keywords to access more detailed documentation. Once you have all this information entered, you can select Add Club. Once you've created the club, you can scroll to the bottom and access the front end from the slug, or you can visit your website and view the new club that you just created. Let's review the customer experience for signing up for the club on the Spectra V2 website. The V2 Club signup is a seamless experience and makes it quick and easy for the customer, especially if they were signing up on a mobile device. Start by selecting Join the Club. Notice on the right hand side is displaying the first shipment items and details. This is because I have an active club package that hasn't been processed yet. So once the club signup is complete, this customer will be able to interact and adjust their first shipment. We will review the club package setup and experience in more detail shortly. Once an email address is entered, select Continue to Delivery. The customer can select between shipping and pickup. And this means that all future shipments will default to ship to or pickup. Admin and the club member can change this for future shipments. Enter all the information. Here is the age verification checkbox. There's an opportunity to include delivery instructions for all future shipments and or a gift message. Then select continue to payment. Another great feature of Commerce 7 is the ability to view incomplete club signups. So if I as the customer drop off here during the signup, you as the admin can navigate to club, signups, and see all incomplete signups similar to carts in Commerce 7. This is valuable information to see where customers are dropping off and you can reach out if there's contact information entered. Enter payment information. Select continue to review. Now the customer can review the club signup. And if there's an active club package, they will see the information on when they will be charged for their first shipment, nice and clear. When they complete the sign up, they are an active club member. If they were an existing club member, 
they could log into their account, and if they're a new customer, this page makes it easy for the new member to log in and adjust their first shipment. They can select Create an Account, and enter a password, and they'll receive an email with a button that will direct them directly to their account. Now they're logged in, and they can adjust that first club shipment. And we'll look at this experience in more detail after we build a club package. Right now, let's go back to the admin panel and take a look at managing club memberships. Navigate to Club, Memberships, and this will show all active and canceled club memberships for all clubs. You can use the filters at the top to filter by club, by order delivery, or by status, sign up date, cancel date, preferred shipping service, or club membership tags. When you click into the membership, you'll see a summary. Under More Actions, we can view any edits, we can duplicate the membership, or we can manually resend the club sign-up email or the club update email. You can add internal notes, flags, or tasks to the customer profile or to the membership. If you add internal membership notes, flags, or tasks, it will live on the membership and won't be visible on the customer profile. Under the Summary tab, we can see the sign-up date, the sales associate that signed up the club member if it wasn't a web sign-up, and we can select Edit to change any of this information. For example, if a club member switches clubs, you can change their sign-up date on their new membership to reflect how long they've actually been a club member. We can edit the shipping address or billing address, and we can set a preferred shipping service. Your default shipping service will be selected for all club shipments. However, under Preferred Shipping Service, you can select Alternative Shipping Service, and that service will be used for all future club shipments for this club member. Select the Shipment tab, and you will see all past and upcoming club shipments. If there's an active club package, you can select View to see and edit the items in the club shipment. To cancel a membership, select Cancel Membership, and enter a cancel date, cancellation reason, and notes. These are all customer facing. In Commerce 7, if a club member is switching clubs, the original club has to be canceled and there's a cancellation reason for switching to another club, which will be relevant in club reporting. Now that we've set up a club, we've signed up for a club, let's build a club package. Navigate to Club and select Packages. For traditional clubs, you have to build a club package for each shipment. Before creating your club package, there's a few things to think about. Product SKU. Once you add a SKU to a club package, you can't make any changes to the images, pricing, or SKU without removing it from the club package first and then making the changes. So we recommend making sure you don't have any changes to the SKUs when you're adding the items to the club package. Second, confirm inventory. Make sure you're adding a SKU to a club package that you have enough inventory to fulfill the club orders. Club shipments are like carts until payment's captured, and that's when a club order is created and inventory is pulled from the available for sale. If you have a SKU that runs out of inventory, some club shipments will process and others will have an error, and then you have to manually remove the item from each club shipment and replace it and remove it from the club package. It's a very manual, messy fix, and we want you to avoid that situation, so only add SKUs that have enough inventory. We will look at how to set maximums and the in inventory forecasting step in the club package that helps avoid this issue in more detail when we build the package. SKUs must match in Ship Compliant. If you're using Ship Compliant, it's imperative that SKUs match both in Commerce 7 and in Ship Compliant. Finally, collateral product. You can create a collateral product in Commerce 7 that's a $0 item that can be added to all club shipments that won't count towards the minimum number of products. Club members can't see or remove this item, but Fulfillment will see the item to know to pack it with all club shipments. This is useful for newsletters or tasting notes. So visit the Help Center and search Collateral Products for more documentation. Now, let's build our first package. Select Add Club Package. You can see it defaults to the planning stage, and there's three stages. 
Planning only in men can access and shipments can't be processed. This is a great feature to be able to duplicate club packages, make changes, and keep them in the planning stage until you're ready to give club members access. Active club members have access to their shipments to adjust and you can process individual club members or all club members will automatically process on the auto process date. And finally, archived. The club package is no longer accessible to club members, but admin can still view the details but can't process any members. Start by giving the club package a title. This is internal facing only. So you can use the titles to keep you organized if you have multiple clubs. Next, use the drop down menu to select the club if you have multiple club offerings. Next, select the auto process date. This is the date that all active club members will automatically process at 12 a.m. the day of the auto process date. The club members' credit cards will be charged and a club order will be created in Commerce 7. Next, you can use the drop down menu to select user can choose or set items. We highly recommend offering user can choose, which means that you can set a minimum number of products, but the club member can interact with the club package, add and remove items, increase and decrease quantities, and never go below the minimum number of products that you set here, but we're seeing an increase in order value when club members can adjust their shipments. In addition to minimum number of products, you can also add a minimum order value. Down here, you have an option for coupons and package. This is an opportunity to add a discount that's only available to club members for their club shipments. So an example would be that they get 25% off the product all the time on club orders and web orders, but they only get free shipping for their club shipments. You can create a free shipping coupon, add it to the club package here, and will only apply to the club members' club shipments. I'm going to add a gold club free shipping coupon that I've previously created, and we can see how these discounts apply in step three. Once we have this first step completed, select add club package. Let's just pop back to step one to see a couple other features added once we've created the package. You can see that I have some stats here at the top and I have a communication block. This will be relevant once I set the package to active. And you can see here I have an email instructions field, which will work similar to the email instructions for the club, where I can include specific content for this club package that will be pulled into the two-week and the two-day club emails. When we get to step two of the club package, this is where we're going to be adding product. Start by searching for name or SKU, and you can change the quantity, the minimum, or the maximum as you add. With a four bottle minimum club, I want to select four items to be the default, which means these are, the, these are the items that will automatically populate in the club shipment. Now I can add additional items with a zero default that can be added to the club shipment. I can drag and drop the order of the products and I can edit, changing the default, the minimum, or the maximum. If I set a minimum on a product, that means that I'm requiring the club member to purchase that minimum. This is great if you have a new vintage or a feature that you want all club members to purchase part of their four bottle minimum. The maximum field can be used to control inventory. If you only have enough inventory for all club members to receive two, we can set the maximum. Once you have all your products selected, select continue. Now we're in step three of the club package, still in the planning. So we're seeing all active club members of this club being pulled in. When I select the club shipment, I can see the details and I can see the default items that I, I selected. When we view the cl individual club shipments in step three of the club package, I can also see the discounts that are applying. If I scroll all the way to the bottom, I can see the discounts that are applying to these club shipments. 
I can tell by the cross out on my gold club free shipping that I don't have this one in a promotion set and that's why these other discounts are applying. Finally in step four I have inventory forecasting. This is showing me that what is currently in the active club members shipments and what is required and what I have for available for sale. If your required quantity is higher than your available for sale, there will be a red indicator. This is a great way to ensure that you have the proper inventory to fulfill club orders. Let's go back to step one and make this package active. You can see that once I've made the package active, the communication block has scheduled the two week and the two day reminder emails based on my auto process date. I can select the edit icon and customize the date that the two week reminder and the two day reminder trigger. And I can also check or uncheck the email on every credit card failure, which triggers an email if the credit card on file fails or declines so the club member can log in, update their credentials and receive their shipment. We highly recommend using these transaction emails. They populate the default selection inside the email and has a great convenient button for the club member to log in and adjust their shipment. In step one of the club package, there's an option to allow customers to ship early, which means on the front end, when the customer is done adjusting their club shipment, they can select ship it now and the system will charge their credit card and create an order in Commerce 7. Let's jump now to the front end experience for the customer of viewing and adjusting their club package. The customer is logged into their account and on their dashboard they see that they have an upcoming club shipment. They see the default selection and they can select view. Now they can see a few more options. The ship it now button, edit wines, they can skip the shipment, and they can see all their club member information. When they select Edit Wines, we're going to see the four default items at the top, and we're going to see Available Wines listed below. Really easy add buttons or items that are already in the shipment to increase quantity, showing them the maximum that they can add, and easily view what is included in their club's shipment. Select Save Selections, and they can either select ship it now or they can wait until the auto process date. Now in their account they can see that they have an order. When they select club shipments they can view the details of the shipment and they can see that they have a completed order. Let's take a look at adjusting a club shipment for a club member from the back end. So we're on the club package, we select step three, we search for the name of the club member, select their shipment. I can edit the shipping, I can change it to a pickup, I can edit billing, I can set that preferred shipping service, and I can also adjust the items in their cart. I can edit the quantity. But as you can see, I can only remove items once I have more than the minimum. And I can't remove products that are required. But any of the items that I added in step two of the club package, I can add. I can edit their shipping and add a requested ship date manually on each individual club shipment. I can edit the credit card that's going to be charged. And again, I can view the discounts that are applying. I can also manually process shipments, or if we go back to step three, I can easily skip or process club members. If a club member cancels once a club package has been active, you'll see a big red indicator that the club membership is canceled. They will not receive any club information and emails. I can also use our filter tools here for processing status, build status, Payment status, order delivery method, ship to state, shipments that have issues, shipments that have flags, or I can sort by tags. When we filter, 
We can then batch process by adding the filter, selecting more actions, and selecting process. Let's process this club shipment. Now we can see it's completed. If I click into this club shipment and scroll down, I can see it looks the same, but now I have an order number. I can click that order number and review the details. For more information about Commerce 7 Clubs, visit our Help Center and select the Club block for an extensive list of documentation, or search keywords to find the article that you need. Don't hesitate to reach out to support with any questions. Select the Support tab and create a support ticket. Include as much information and detail and screenshots if possible and we'll be happy to answer your questions and provide recommendations. We hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.